What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out the Empire's SMP and so much has happened in the last couple weeks. Starting off where we left off last time, Catherine Elizabeth became the emperor of the server and her rule for the server was that everybody had to create a flower garden. Now this was chosen through a system that she built which was a dispenser that shot out a flower and people got their flowers chosen for them. Fwip got the white tulip and that was his garden there. Gemini Tay's School of Magic opened up finally and a few of the other members attended. The first was LD Shadow Lady and then Catherine Elizabeth helped teach some classes and Mythical Sausage and Fwip came over later. Catherine Elizabeth decided she had too much of the crown so she decided to pass it off to somebody else by creating this wonderful race going through a bunch of different challenges. Somehow, by some means, Flip managed to beat all the challenges completely fairly. There was definitely no cheating or anything, and he claimed the crown right off Catherine Elizabeth's head. Is he catching fish? I got, I got the fish! Just give me the crown, Catherine! Oh, oh my god! Oh. So Flip is now the new emperor of the server, and his rule is that everybody is part of the road building guild, and they must build a road in between their empire and another empire, or the spawn. A lot of the empires have actually already completed this rule as it's been some time since Flip became emperor now. Gemini Tay's kingdom is looking absolutely lovely now that the school of magic is done as so much is coming together for her amethyst cliffs. It's crazy how far all the empires have come so far. Gemini Tay's looks absolutely amazing. All the purple roofs, everything going on just looks great. Joey Graceffa has also been making some progress on his empire as well. He finally built the final temple that is going in his kingdom, which is the air temple. This thing, of course, is up in the air, looking like it is sat on top of a cloud. He now has all four elements of the universe built in his kingdom, earth, air, fire, and water, all built already. He also acquired a new raptor for the earth temple. Uh, this one he decided to steal from Catherine Elizabeth. Besides that, he worked on a road between himself and Shubble, making this water river passageway with these nice looking lanterns all along the side. This water passage goes right into Shubble's base and Fwip approved it and gave him the netherite shovel. Catherine Elizabeth spent the last couple weeks building up this challenge course for the new emperor to be chosen. Unfortunately, she didn't know that Fwip was just going to end up killing her instead. It really was a pretty cool challenge course. She basically had everybody ride horses, ride pigs, do some minor parkour, catch a fish, and a couple more things, but it all ended up with Flip just killing her on top of the Goat Mountain. This betrayal was of course predestined though, as LD Shadow Lady had it in her prophecy book. After Fwip decided to betray Catherine Elizabeth, this huge flower forest grew. There's also some pretty ominous things in that prophecy book, and it could really spell the end of Empire's SMP, as it looks like some evil forces are at work. Just before Catherine Elizabeth lost the crown, LD Shadow Lady actually worked on the garden for her flowers, which looks pretty amazing. She built it right over the water with this nice little cliff edge, and built up some huge custom flowers. As I mentioned before, LD Shadow Lady has the Book of Prophecies, and there is a lot in this book, but this one is really the biggest one, as that one is going to spell the end of Empire's SMP. LD Shadow Lady also worked on her own road that she went all the way to Pixandria with, with this beautiful water passageway. You can either fly over it or ride a boat right down the middle. Mythical Sausage managed to find his way back onto the Empire's SMP after getting stuck in an alternate dimension, which may just be his hardcore Minecraft world. But in order to get back to Mythland, he had to sacrifice a blood sheep and therefore used his powers again, which spells big, big trouble. But it did end with this nice cutscene of Mythical Sausage falling back into the Amethyst Cliffs. I gotta say, I absolutely love Mythical Sausage's use of the replay mod. He does such a good job of putting together all those clips and everything, and it really just makes his videos a whole new experience. He also went back to Mythland and worked on a new greenhouse, which I think is a very lovely build to fit in with the rest of the surrounding builds. His empire is definitely the one with the most builds in it. It is absolutely insane how much Mythical Sausage has done throughout this whole thing. But unfortunately, because his, he used his powers, a gateway opened up on this island, so now a certain someone may be coming back to Empires. 
On a much brighter note, Scott decided to build a rainbow road for his project for FWIP, and this actually connects up to Catherine's empire. He put a bunch of little clouds along the side of it, and I think this is a really great road. Scott also found something very interesting inside of a huge ice spike. He found a new sword, and this sword might actually be connected to some of the things he's been given in the past. It has the same runes on it, and this is actually the rune sword. This sword has some interesting properties in that it can basically separate a body from its soul, and for those who deserve it, they will find peace, but for those who don't, they will be doomed to suffer. He ended up finding a book that actually told the history of the sword, and it's pretty interesting. I suggest you go check out his video for the full book. And also to see exactly what is going on with the Zornoth crystal right here. Shovel has also decided to ditch the rest of humanity behind as she is following the wolf spirit and goes on a huge camping trip with it. This camping trip lasted a few days and she spent the entire time hunting wildlife and just living the part of the wolf. Solidarity decided to build his own road and this one is going to connect up to LD Shadow Lady, although he realized that the slime and the green glass might actually look pretty bad if he ran it all the way up to her kingdom through the water, especially based on the build that she actually did with her lovely pathway uh, that you can just see while flying over. So he decided to build his slime pathway around all the edges of this land up to the closest land point to her base. Then making it very similar to his own empire, he decided to use spruce trap doors, some lily pads, and some lanterns just like LD Shadow Lady used to make a similar pathway to hers through the water. I think his pathway actually turned out really nice. It looks very much like the rest of his empire and hopefully this will help him in his path to getting the Codfather head back. Next up, Smallish Beans has been doing some of his own work on the Mazalian Kingdom. He has been working on the interior of his megabase. Now what happened was he realized this thing was actually absolutely huge and it would take him forever to be able to fill up the entire space that is inside here. So in order to make it a little easier on himself, he decided to just work with the space of his storage room and the entrance and close it off to the rest. He said he may return to the interior later, but we'll see how lo much longer this season of Empire's SMP lasts, as it seems like there are some dangerous foes about. He also left some room on the inside of his base for LD Shadow, Lady, and Solidarity to come over and actually build some embassies on the inside. LD Shadow Lady already came over and did hers, and we're really waiting to see Jimmy's because his should be a great addition uh, to the rest of this base. That is pretty much all that I have for you guys today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. Also, if you haven't watched any of the actual episodes of Empire's SMP, I highly recommend you go do that. They're super enjoyable to watch. There's a great storyline, some great lore, and it's a really fun series. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.